Sup everyone, I'm Ifumi Otaku and I'm going to review episode 9 of Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma Nino Sara. How hype is this episode? Honestly, everything about this episode was so hype, man! Oh, I was freaking out the entire time. First, with Ryo. We got to dive in even more with Ryo and Alice's relationship, and I really liked that flashback. I mean, we already know that they have been battling each other ever since they were kids, but just how it started off, like Alice showed Ryo off to her mother, and then she was treating him like a dog, being like, oh my gosh, can we keep him? And the mothers are like, well, we have to ask your father. And they started doing, uh, you know, cook-offs and stuff so that Ryo, he, he's just all like, no, I'm not going to be your slave or your dog or anything like that. And Alice is just like, okay, then verse me in a cook-off. And if you lose, then you have to call me miss so obey my every word. And Ryo kept losing for two years until he finally beat Alice. And then Alice got upset at that one loss and wanted to verse him again. And he said, sure, miss. And I was like, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. I'm really glad that we got to dive in more with their relationship because now I truly see that they are friends and it's not just some random pairing just to make them look cool or whatever. Like, no, their relationship makes sense and I'm really happy with that. Also the fact that Ryo is incorporating what he's learned in his cook-offs with Alice into his dish was just awesome, an awesome, awesome tribute. Just video, I love him so much, man. But then we go with Hayama. He is a god. <laughs> Hayama is a god. I am not worthy. I am not worthy, Hayama. Just, oh my goodness. Just this man. He, he has to be better than Erina, honestly. This dude. <laughs> because... Remember when Ryo said that Hayama is just a one-trip pony, all he has up his sleeve is just, you know, incorporating a bunch of spices to create the best aroma possible. Well, this time, Hayama only used one spice. Yeah, he only used one spice in his dish. And it's just like, what? Hayama, this isn't like you at all. But yet he was still able to create the best aroma possible by searing the fish he like burnt not burned like you know he got a torch and stuff and seared it and the that the fish with the you know the torch and stuff by uh, searing it and then have the spices aroma just flow out all over the place everyone was able to smell it in the entire arena so that was just amazing and just Hayama is such a god like because like the dish that he brought out wasn't a dish worthy to be compared of that to Rio's but then when he got the torch in, the aroma spread out, and it's just like, Hayama, you can do such amazing things, man. You should be running this place, okay? <laughs> Alice's mother is such love, oh my goodness. Like, I, sometimes I do get annoyed, though, with her broken Japanese, but I shouldn't be complaining because she knows more Japanese than I do. But still, she is love. When she, uh, as Alice calls it, bearing, it's not being bare-chested like what the director does. It's, she stands up, <laughs> the light of God shines around her, and her, her, she sheds her broken Japanese and starts speaking correctly in full sentences and really, really fast to describing the dish. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, this woman's amazing. And she was just so excited too, every single time the dish was brought to her, she was just so like, <gasps> Yukira, Hayaku, Hayaku! I'm just like, oh my gosh. I, I love her so much, she's great. Did Food Wars just make a Berserk reference? Because with the whole sword battle thing, Ryo, you saw that he popped out a ginormous sword. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, are they comparing him to Guts? And then we saw Hayama in what looked kind of like Magi with the sword and his outfit. He looked like a character from Magi, but then he got a new sword. So I'm just still like, oh my gosh, what is this? How many, how many anime are, are they referencing right now? Are they doing this on purpose? I don't know. <laughs> I really like that scene. And finally, as always, there is an end credit scene. And even though Soma presented his dish and everybody loved it, the director did not go bare chested. So it's just like, oh. And then Soma was all like, so anyone would like seconds? Anyone? And Dojima, he was just a like, sorry, but it's over. And then Soma's just a like, I highly encourage it. 
Then you see someone with this new pot, with this aroma flaring all over the place. And I don't know what this pot is supposed to do. I don't know why his dish needs to need, needs you to have seconds of it. But Soma highly encourages it, and he says that his dish is not over yet. Okay, so we're not finished with this dish. That's cool. I doubt they're gonna spend the entire episode next week just focusing on Soma's dish. So we might just find out the winner next week. Who do you think is going to win? Because at this rate so far, it seems like Hayama is going to win, but we don't know what else Soma has up his sleeve with this second part to his dish. So let me know your thoughts on this episode. Let me know who you want to win and catch later as I review Rewrite and Days. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.